Yo, what is up everybody? I hope you guys are having a beautiful Sunday. All right, real quick. Let's knock this out. So, I was screaming and ripple and ripple and ripple and ripple and ripple and ripple and what the freak happened, man? Pfft, a moon pistol. XRP has my attention on the 16th and then all the family knew all the goods and all the things and all the stuff. So, what happened? Let's go to the 16th. Bada boom, bada bing, right here, 40 cents, all the way to a 51 cent move, 26%, 20, you know, whatever. But let's just be honest, most people didn't catch that whole thing, and that's cool, no big deal. So, let's say you would have just caught to here, okay? I mean, at very least, the, the worst I feel like most people could have done was 13% here, which was right at the top of the wedge, which, you know, was topside resistance. Uh, I even also gave another one when we broke this bull break line, right? So that's actually on this chart. So I had the bull break line and that was like around the 44 cent region. So let's just say you took it there. Let's just say you took the 44 cents. Totally okay. Right? Could have netted potentially 16, but like, like again, let's be realistic. You're probably sitting around the 6 to 10 range. And that's awesome. That is nothing to be ashamed about because that is more money than you had and life is busy when you have kids and work and maybe a job or you go to school or you go to a job and you go to school and maybe you have kids. Like, who knows, man? So to be able to sit behind a computer, analyze that, solve a puzzle, and do some Nicolas Cage type stuff in real life, I mean, that I see a lot of, a lot of beauty in that. So as we consolidate again, everybody wants to know where will we go? Well, on the big chart that I have for everybody, it looks like we could potentially be consolidating right now. And then now we're looking for that other move up, right? So huge impulse up. We need to consolidate like we have before many times. And then we're kind of cooling off our oscillators, right? Definitely showed some divergence there on the RSI. However, Looking at the daily, we slammed it, man. We freaking killed it. So to build that bearish divergence, I'm looking for that red line to get met. Which would lead me to believe that maybe we'll still see higher prices because you're not oversold on a daily time scale. And you have you know crosses and RSIs and MACDs and a bunch of crazy stuff that this dude's talking about. But... This puzzle's looking good, guys. It's looking decent, and especially if you got in at an area of value, right? So family got all hooked up on all the goods, and even the people during the live stream, we saw it bust out during that, so that was super cool. And hopefully we can see this little, you know, back test or this pullback here, and maybe we can jump to that 55 cent region or 54.9 or somewhere around there. And again, that's, you know, on a $1,000 position, that's, two hundred and ten dollars like that pays your electric bill maybe that goes goes and lets you get a massage that something maybe something you haven't had in a while or just something that i don't know just anybody can use two hundred dollars at the end of the month i'm not guaranteeing it nobody can guarantee money but if you learn how to do these puzzles and you keep coming back and you learn to invest in yourself then it can really open up a whole new door so i appreciate you guys hanging out showing love and make sure you hit the like make sure you hit the sub the bell so that way you know when we're going live and then also in the description below and we have the link for the discord that's where you can hang out with us outside of stream and that's where everything kind of goes down so check out the discord it's a cool group of people um, that's where you can get in direct contact with me and if you have any questions or anything then definitely check me out and i will see you guys next time